so lately if you've seen my video on my compost update i haven't really seen any progress even if i kept turning it it still didn't give off that hot success you know i saw this guy on youtube where his compost started heating up on the second day so i don't know if it's the ratio of my materials from green to brown and other factors but i don't know if i'm doing it right however i'm gonna try something else at the same time so i'm going to try which is called the uh, mokashi composting which is anaerobic where composting takes place without the presence of oxygen instead the organic materials are broken down by fermentation what i like about this method is that you can pretty much include any food scraps so i got excited about this idea because you can pretty much add everything in your compost bin while it's a wonderful way of composting it is most especially costly when it comes to the supplies that you're gonna need so i looked for a way without having to pay 80 dollars to more than 100 dollars for just one compost bin i found a guy on youtube doing the exact same thing and i'm just stealing this idea from him i'm gonna post a link on the description box below so you can see how he did it and so i ordered a pair of five gallon buckets that came with gamma seal lids a pair of grit guards and a spigot setup i bought two so that while one is going i can have another one going again that way i'll have a never-ending supply of bokashi tea if your area has Lowe's or Ace, do buy them locally because it's cheaper. I had mine shipped from Amazon because I live two hours away from the city. And it was kind of a lot, but way cheaper than buying the real deal. When you buy the buckets at your local store, don't buy the lids that came with it because you want something airtight. So this is a grit guard that you usually use when washing your car. This will serve as your strainer. It's about $8 each on Amazon. But if you have a cheaper way of doing it, please go ahead. The goal is to save money from this setup. All in all, I spent about $80 for two setups compared to a real bokashi bin. My husband already made this for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I make my bokashi for the first time. First and foremost, you're gonna put the grit guard at the bottom of the bucket. The reason why a grit guard is used is because it gives room for the spigot setup. I'm not sure if you can find strainers out there high enough for the spigot. Then you want to lay a thin craft paper or anything that decomposes quickly. You can use parchment paper, but it will take 12 weeks or more for it to break down. I've put enough craft paper so the kitchen scraps won't fall on the bottom where the bokashi tea is gonna sit. While I'm laying the papers, let's talk about why bokashi is beneficial. Number one, it builds healthy soils. Bokashi compost is teeming with beneficial microbes. It is an excellent foundation for building a healthy and productive soil structure. Number two, it's easy. Simply add the bokashi brand, then food scraps, and let the microbes do the rest. Number three, it's fast. With traditional composting, you often need to wait a year or longer. By using this method, the food scraps are transformed into high-quality compost in just four to six weeks. Number four, unlike other composting methods, this allows you to compost all of your food waste. No need to separate your organic waste. All of it can go in your bokashi bucket. Lastly, no foul odor and it's pest free. Because of its airtight lid, you will never smell the food turning rancid and you won't be able to attract mice, rats, raccoons, flies, or bears. The next step is to add the bokashi brand. I'm supposed to spray this with EM1 solution but I forgot about it so I'm gonna do it at the very end. You can make your own bokashi brand but it will take 3 weeks for it to be ready. So by buying it ready made, you're basically shortening the process. It takes about 3 weeks alone for the bokashi brand to finish processing. Then you're gonna add your food scraps. Make sure to chop it first and grind any shells so it breaks down quickly. Then you're basically just going to layer it. Make sure to seal it tight and put it at room temperature or under your sink. It's basically that easy. Let it sit for at least 2-3 to three weeks and then you're supposed to drain the tea. I'm very excited about this and now we wait. And I'll update you about this quest in a few weeks. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.